everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this little shell stitch, which is a very pretty crochet stitch. It creates a fairly solid fabric. It's the same on both sides. It has lots of drape, making this a great stitch for a variety of projects, including blankets and garments. Uh, really, there's no end to this stitch. It's just wonderful. So today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of a worsted weight 100% cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. Also a 5mm or an H8 crochet hook. Links to these items are in the description of this video. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe and take a look around. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new crochet stitch tutorial and then crochet patterns throughout the week. If you are looking for the free written instructions for this little shell stitch, you can find it on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. Again, the direct link for you is in the description of this video. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot and by working a foundation chain for the little shells stitch, you're going to need a multiple of four stitches for your foundation chain. Today I'm going to start by chaining 20. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four. Into that fourth chain, work one double crochet. You're then going to skip the next chain and into the next single crochet. Skip the next chain and into your next chain, work three double crochet stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next chain, into your next chain, work a single crochet. Skip the next chain, into your next, work three double crochet stitches. All the way across until you have four stitches remaining. When you come across at the end of row one and have four chains remaining, you're going to skip the next chain, single crochet into the next, Skip the next chain and work two double crochet stitches into your final stitch. Chain one and turn. For row two, begin by working a single crochet into the first stitch. Skip the next stitch and into your next single crochet, work three double crochet stitches. Skip the next stitch, single crochet into your next. You're going to repeat this all the way across. Skip the next stitch, work three double crochets into your single crochet stitch. Skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next. All the way across where you will end with a single crochet into the top of that starting chain three.
At the end of row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Your chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. Next, work one double crochet into the first stitch. Skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next. Skip the next stitch and work three double crochet stitches into your single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next, skip the next stitch, three double crochets into the next, all the way across to your final single crochet where you will work two double crochets into that final single crochet stitch. Work two double crochets into that final stitch, chain one, and turn your work. That brings you to the end of row three and to the end of the repeat section for this pattern. For the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and three for as long as you would like. So your row two starting with the single crochet stitch, followed by the three double crochet in the next single crochet, and then your row three which was the row that we just worked starting with your chain three. And that's all there is to working the little shells stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Say hello down in the comments. If you happen to make something with this little shells stitch, be sure to tag Rich Textures Crochet on social media and I will come by and admire it. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.